So with that, we come to the last step in this webinar, which is to integrate the model contents done in Enterprise Architect with the external enterprise tools such as Jira and Confluence. So one of the key challenges in our current practice is to be able to have a consolidated view across various tools and we'll be seeing how to configure a Jira link or how to share EA diagrams live in Confluence that will make this information sharing seamless. So in terms of linking EA artifacts to Jira, for example, a use case to a user story, there are two ways we could go about it. One is to import the data from Jira into Enterprise Architect and create a link, which could be done through the Pro Cloud Server integration. However, there's also an another way where we could have a virtual link between an EA use case and a Jira user story, for example and we will be seeing how to create that virtual link. In this approach, the data won't be imported from Jira to EA. However, they would be residing in their own repository, but a virtual link will be created between these two, which will be shown in the diagrams and in the reports, etc. So to do this virtual link, there are a couple of steps. The first one being configuring the connection which is to specify the server and give the user credentials to connect to the Jira server. Once that's done, we need to define something called an integration attribute, which is very similar to how we define a ref good or a ref good list in EA, but we use Jira selection, Jira filtering to define that attribute. And once that's done, we'll be able to do it like we do for a normal property in Prolabrate. You could go to the modeling languages designer and use this new property and assign it against any EA artifact, for example, a use case. And once these are done, that kind of sets up the platform and the end user's role is to only click and choose the Jira item like he does a ref good tag value within EA. And while he does that, what Prolabrate does is it creates a two-way link between the EA item and Jira. For example, a use case in EA to a Jira user story, there will be a two-way virtual link created. That will be shown in diagrams as visual queue, using which the users could just click and look at the details. Or you could also navigate to Jira by clicking on a link from Prolabrate. So let's look at that in action now. So let me start by defining a new integration connection. So as we specified previously, to define an integration connection, you need to specify the actual server to which we are connecting to with the system admin and password. Then Prolabrate will allow you to choose the project to which you want to connect. And it will also allow you to choose broadly what kind of filters you want to see within Prolabrate. As a second step, we need to go and define an attribute, which we call the integration attribute. That's quite similar to a ref good or a ref good list tag value within EA. So I'm choosing the integration uh, application, giving it a name and specifying the type of attributes that could be selected for this attribute or for this tag value. Once we have a property available, I'm just going to the form designer for the UML use case and saying that I would like to see this new integration attribute I just defined to be available for all use cases. So I'm now trying to look at a use case in my Prolabrate repository and browsing through its properties. And as you know, we'll only see the properties that were assigned using this dedicated forms. And one of this property is the Jira user story link that we just created. And as you could see, it just behaves like 
a model selection but in this case it's selecting the artifacts from the Jira project that we have connected to and it shows you all the items that matches the filtering criteria and once I select and save that's it and Prolabrate creates a two-way link between EA and Jira so let me look at one of the diagrams where these use cases are used and we'll see how Prolabrate gives us the visual cue to indicate that there is a Jira connection to the particular item. And clicking on those icons will show you there is a Jira item and we could just view those details within Prolabrate and as you can imagine these are live information from Jira and the user could also navigate to Jira by just clicking there. And what you would also notice is a link from Jira back to the EA item. So just by allowing your users to choose a Jira link as if he does a tag value, you're creating a two-way link. Another thing that we could do is to define a widget in your dashboard that uses the filters from the Jira project that you have connected and give a live feed in the same portal that your user sees your EA items as well. So in which case you're having one portal which gives information from Jira and EA which kind of you know greatly simplifies the efforts from your end users to navigate to two different tools to look at the details. So let's look how this dashboard shows up in, in action and as you could see these are live items fetched from Jira. Let me look at the table view to show you the full list and these are dynamic lists these are not imported into EA and Prolabrate will allow you to just click and look at its details or you could just click on one of these items and be taken to Jira right away. Now let's look at how Confluence integration works. So we understand that it's very important to share your diagrams in the knowledge management tools that is used by your enterprise and that's where we have a Prolabrate macro for Confluence that will allow us to choose diagrams or packages or elements from within Confluence and browse through a live EA repository and just pick and choose a diagram for example and create a link. So I've created a link to an application components diagram and the moment I go to the page and see how it is you would notice that there's a live link from Prolabrate shown in the Confluence page but it not just the diagram but it also shows you the list of elements in the diagram which has all the filtering that you could do to see the fine details. Conventionally people have used copying and pasting as a technique to create reports like this. An automated mechanism like this greatly simplifies that redundant efforts. And as you could see you could navigate to and fro from Confluence to Prolabrate as well. There are also other ways to share EA information. So I could take a diagram and prolaborate and take an iframe out of it and I could embed it into Confluence or any portal for that case and that iframe which is powered by prolaborate would be automatically refreshed every time the diagram changes. So in that way you are having a very simple integration between two tools but very effective in, in which case you don't have to share or copy the diagram again and paste it. You could also share this diagram with the Prolabrate utilities as well in which case your user would be able to see a Prolabrate frame within the other portal. In this case I'm using Confluence as an example and as you could see the diagram could be just as an image or it could have the entire capability where you could click and look at its details or you could see the discussions around it or you could even see how the integrations are in place. So all that you could do from a Prolabrate portal could also be done from within a Confluence page. So such a seamless integration greatly simplifies the efforts involved in navigating between multiple tools to make sense of it and it also gives the modeler a great edge. They could choose whatever approach that's convenient for them to share information. We thank you for your time. 
to listen to this webinar. If you have any further queries or if you would like to see a demo of this or take a trial, please visit our website prolaborate.sparksystems.com or please write to us at prolaborate at sparksystems.com.